Welcome to the Weekday Report for Tuesday, December 3rd. I'm Joe Potente. Here's a brief look at the news. Delivery by drone? That could be in Kenosha's future if a plan by Amazon.com comes to fruition. The company's CEO announced recently that the online retail giant is anticipating FAA approval of the use of small unmanned drones to deliver packages of under 5 pounds to customers within a 10-mile radius of Amazon's distribution centers. One such center is now under construction near I-94 and Highway 142 in Kenosha. The company says these deliveries would arrive at customers' homes within 30 minutes of an order being placed. An ethics complaint against Kenosha Alderman Steve Bostrom will progress to a hearing after the city's ethics board found probable cause Monday that Bostrom violated an ordinance in using his city email address on campaign materials in 2012. Bostrom said it was a mistake that didn't violate ethics laws. Meanwhile, the board was unable to act on a complaint against Alderman G. John Ruffalo in the so-called Gluegate incident. The committee lacked a quorum because two members abstained because they had car work done by the complainant, Alderman Patrick Juliana. The board will take it up again later this month. A tax credit for train commuters could be going away. Here's Jeff Zampanti with the story. I'm Kenosha News reporter Jeffrey Zampanti outside the Kenosha Metro Station where we're getting a reaction from local commuters who are taking advantage of a current $245 tax credit offered through their employer. The tax credit is set for a decrease to go down to 130 a month if Congress doesn't act quickly. For the Kenosha News, I'm Jeffrey Zampanti. Jeff will have the full story later today at KenoshaNews.com and in Wednesday's Kenosha News. The Kenosha County District Attorney's Office has charged a Lake Villa, Illinois man with stabbing someone in the McDonald's parking lot in late November. The two men were fighting over a woman, and police said 19-year-old James Ackerman stabbed the other man nine times in the back. None of the victim's internal organs were hit by the knife, but there was damage to his muscles, and he needed surgery to repair the injuries. Ackerman is being held in the Kenosha County Jail. A medical assistant admitted to police that she stole thousands of dollars from her boss, taking hundreds in cash out of his wallet while he was in surgery. 25-year-old Cindy Luna of Waukegan, Illinois, was caught when the surgeon set up a security camera in his office after noticing money kept disappearing while he was at work. The video showed Luna coming into the office and taking money from his wallet. Luna told police she stole from the doctor one or two times a week for about a year, taking $100 to $500 each time. She told Aurora Security that she took about $15,000 over the year and told police that she took between $3,600 and $4,800. What's trending today? Reports from Cyber Monday showed more and more shoppers are turning to smartphones to make their holiday purchases. Do you feel comfortable shopping on a phone, or do you prefer an old-fashioned computer? Or, better yet, an in-store experience? Tell us on our Facebook page. Up next is Jeff Sampanti with a look at new honors for Kenosha's Melvin Gordon. The awards are starting to roll in for Wisconsin running back Melvin Gordon. The former Bradford standout was a consensus All-Big Ten second-team selection by the media and coaches on Monday after finishing the regular season second in the conference with nearly 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns. The redshirt sophomore wasn't the only county product honored by the Big Ten. Harborside Academy graduate and Michigan State cornerback Trey Waynes was named honorable mention by the media and coaches, while Tremper graduate and University of Minnesota lineman Zach Epping was chosen honorable mention by the media. Wisconsin, Michigan State, and Minnesota are all in line for an upcoming bowl game appearance later this month or in early January. For the Kenosha News, I'm Jeffrey Zampanti. Thanks, Jeff. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. Liz Snyder is looking at ways to beat the winter blues, and Deneen Smith will be covering Kenosha Unified Committee meetings, covering the KTEC expansion and graduation rates. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Joe Potente with the Weekday Report.